Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for uh, September 2023. We are just going to jump right in here, Aries. And in your current general energies, you have this house card and you have this reflection card. Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense that you'd be doing a lot of reflecting right now, probably from home. Some of you, I literally feel you are reflecting on where you live. So a lot, some of you might have a desire to move or, um, you know, a desire to have a new beginning in some area of your life. You know, house imagery in like tarot and even oracle cards can just represent uh, safety, security, comfort, protection. So, you know, any anything in your life that you feel provides those types of feelings is, is something that you could be reflecting on. And we have all these retrogrades, so it really makes sense that... Um, you know, retrogrades are a time of reflection. And um, sometimes we don't do it for any reason. You know, we just do it because. <laughs> and uh, maybe that's all you need to know, right? Is that you're just doing it because. And, you know, that's good enough. But um, I kind of feel like there's like a golden, it's like there's almost like a golden opportunity coming in for you uh, at this time. I knew it, like you're not, I feel like someone is looking at it here. Um, it doesn't have to be love. I feel that this could be like wisdom or uh, an answer that you're looking for in your life. Um, you know, you go from the Queen of Swords to the King of Swords in this reading, and the King of Swords is the card of knowledge and wisdom. So I, I literally feel that for some of you, it's like there's something, um, you know, there's like an opportunity. The reason I'm saying the opportunity is the star card here uh, that you start with. So you start, and here you go. You have the eight, two aces. Uh, it's crazy to me also that so many signs this month have had multiple aces, you know? So it's like, you know, after the retrogrades, we're being set free for new beginnings. And, you know, that makes sense as well. But, you know, I kind of feel like there is a lot of reflection um, going on here. Um, and like probably it, it, it has to do with something that brings security into some area of your life. I don't think it has to be one thing or the other. It could be multiple areas of your life. And again, like I said, I literally feel some of you are moving. I mean, Judgment, uh, Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, Three of Wands, uh, even the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles can represent new beginnings. So like I said, it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were thinking about moving in the near future or planning on moving at some point in the future. And, you know, like I said, just makes sense. Uh, you have the star here. So the star is like some sort of hope, wish, or dream. If you do want love, uh, there could be an Aquarius coming in for you, which I'm pretty sure in your last reading that I did for you, there was an Aquarius that was showing up here. You have a lot of stuff about knowledge showing up in this reading, Queen of Swords, King of Swords, uh, Ace of Swords, you know, so even the Ace of Pentacles can represent like nurturing something by learning about it. But uh, there's this bird right here, this Ibis, and the Ibis is the bird of knowledge and wisdom. So, and you know, on the star card, it kind of represents seeing the big picture. That bird, that bird has a bird's eye view. It, it's, it, it can see the whole picture of like what it wants to create in its life or what she's trying to create in her life. And so I feel for a lot of you, uh, this reflection period could be bringing in, you know, could be providing you with a bird's eye view. You could be kind of understanding uh, the direction you need to go in. Now, it is interesting as well to me that pretty much every single person this month has had something about like a great deal of clarity. And, you know, Queen of Swords, she is clear for the first time. She only has clouds halfway up her body. You have the Ace of Swords here, which is like laser-like focus, being very sure of yourself especially with the King of Swords, which is discernment, being sure of yourself. So, you know, like just putting all these things together. Uh, you have the Justice card here. This is the only thing I would pay attention to. I literally say this to everyone as well. <laughs> Sorry that I'm repeating myself, but, you know, uh, cause and effect, right? I would just be paying attention to if you put energy into something, do you get energy out? If the answer is yes, great, keep going. If the answer is no, stop. I'm also like, you know, there's purple uh, behind this guy or this Libra person, this uh, justice person. And I feel for a lot of you that, uh, you know, there could be someone you see as special coming in for you, like royalty. You know, purple is a color of royalty. And again, you have the king and queen of swords, which are divine counterparts. Um, so we'll have to see where that goes. But you have the judgment card here. Again, I feel like you're waking up to an opportunity that exists in your life and you know it's an opportunity for some of you I feel it's also like an opportunity for you to apply some knowledge or wisdom or some things that you have learned in your life and uh, it could be leading to like more money uh, moving changes <laughs> all sorts of stuff let's see 
Let's get some clarity. We're gonna clarify with the Oracle of the Radiant Sun here. Uh, with the star, you have this convention card. Um, I would be careful of convention. Convention is the way things have always been done. And so, you know, I keep telling people like 80% of the time, absolutely do what works, right? But 20% of the time, like I would be trying new things, experimenting in all areas of life, you know? So there you go. Uh, with the Justice card, you have this Innovation card. Yeah, a lot of in a lot of Aquarius energy already in this reading. So that Innovation card is Jupiter and Aquarius, and so again, new ideas, new opportunities, innovating, all those things are going to that could make you very successful. So you know, don't be afraid to exercise your uh, your kind of creativity, especially if you're invent like inventing things for business or whatever. With the Judgment card, you have this Publicity card. There could be a ton of attention coming in for you. Judgment is like a call to attention. And then you have this publicity card. So you know, if you work in social media or the media, <laughs> anything like that, there could be a ton of attention uh, that is coming becoming available to you with this publicity card. Um, you know, if you have a business, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've said something about this to you in the past. I mean, you have the star, which is, you know, could literally be you becoming a star. Um, even if you don't, I, you know, I like to remind people, not everybody wants to be famous, right? Um, and what I would say here is that, you know, this could just be you getting attention at work or business. So take advantage of it. You know, I always say when cards like this come up, like, you know, do extra stuff at work. If you want to get a raise or a promotion, go and ask for a raise or a promotion. Tell your boss, be like, look at all these extra things I do. Everybody else is lazy and I do all this extra stuff. I need a raise, right? So use this energy, as, you know, take advantage of it because it exists right now. Uh, next in the area, what are we doing? Oh yeah, your uh, your next big change. You have this Between Worlds card, which I love, and you also have this uh, Go the Distance card, which I also love. The Between Worlds card, you can see that Flamingo is going in from black and white to color. So it's like your life is about to uh, take on more color. And I feel like it's because you're going the distance. It's like you're not, I really see you not half-assing anything. I, f I feel like you are whole-assing whatever it is that you're doing here in your life, like any opportunities that come your way. I see you like kind of making the commitment. It's funny because I get the word anger popping up as well, but it's like one of those things where sometimes I think we, you know, work on a project, it doesn't work. Then we get angry and then we make it work. You know, sometimes it works like that uh, where it, it's not really like anger. You know, it's like we use that energy to motivate us. We use the energy to push us forward. And again, I think, you know, there are so many spiritual teachers that are like, oh, you have to let go of anger and all this other BS. I'm like, well, okay, we have anger for a reason. It's a human emotion and it's what you do with it that matters. It's not what you are feeling. Of course, everybody feels angry, right? So what I would say here is I feel you could be channeling some of your, you know, if you're angry about something, you could be channeling the energy and making something happen. You have the Queen of Swords, you have the Nine of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Uh, I would be careful of a past person coming back. You know, Knight of Swords is rushing it towards the Judgment card, which would be rushing to the past. But then the smarter part of you is the Queen of Swords, which is looking at the Eight of Cups. And she is thinking, you know, she sees clearly now, <laughs> she sees clearly now that the rain has gone, right? Like those clouds are only halfway up her body. And she understands that she needs to walk away. She understands that there are brighter, bigger opportunities in the future. Literally, in your reading, Eight of Cups to the Three of Wands. Three of Wands is showing up in the area of the good stuff. Three of Wands card of expansion. He's looking out at the water at those ships, and he's seeing those ships as a big opportunity for him to go on a new adventure. Uh, you have the Nine of Wands. I feel like you're guarded from a past person anyway. Um... So if you're dealing with a past person, you're guarded. I also feel that for a lot of you going this way, uh, you need to not give up on something clearly. I feel you're very close to a victory. I mean, you have two cards of victory here, Six of Wands and the Ace of Swords. The Six of Wands is kind of like a card of just success, um, but you know it can represent a victory. He is victorious, the Six of Wands. He has been to war and now he's on his way back from war, but you know, it's like he's been through something terrible, but he he was the wounded warrior kind of, even though it's that's the wrong order. Um, you know, he, he has experienced being the warrior, let's put it that way, and now he's coming back uh, victorious. So there's like some sort of victory if you don't give up on what you're working on. I think this is the only thing that could get in your way is the past. So, you know, if you have someone that's like rushing in from the past or whatever, I would be very careful of it. You know, I think you see brighter horizons or something like that. That's that's not really the word I wanna use, right? But <laughs> it's like, I, I think you just see better that your life could be better. Maybe that's the way to put it. And, you know, I feel you've been on like kind of in this race for a long time. And I, I almost get the feeling that this card is saying, why not finish it? You know, why not finish the race? Why allow something, you know, whatever this is 
to kind of like prevent you from moving forward. So I, I, I kind of feel like it's time for you to go for the gold, right? I feel like it's time for you to really uh, get something that you've been dreaming about for a while. I mean, you literally have this Field of Dreams card coming up next. With the, uh, look at this, with the Queen of Swords, you have this Achievement card. So there's a big achievement coming in for you. It could be a personal achievement, something like that. With the Nine of Wands, you have you showing up here. This is Aries. So this card says ass assertion on it. I definitely feel it would be a great time to be assertive. Uh, kind of like I said, use that anger. Uh, if you are angry about something, I'm not saying all of you, of course, are angry about something, something but some of you. Uh, for others, it might just be more assertion, right? You just might, might be feeling more assertive or you might be feeling like you wanna be more bold and courageous, and I think that's great. I think this is definitely an energy you should be taking advantage of. Uh, by the way, that other card is Capricorn, so there could also be a Capricorn coming in for you. Uh, with the Knight of Swords, you have this Inheritance card here. Um, it can literally represent Inheritance, but... You know, I feel for some of you that someone from the past is coming back in talking about like all the history that you have together, but um, I don't know. I kind of just see you being like this, King of Swords. I feel like you're saying, uh, too bad, so sad, right? Get lost. <laughs> uh, you had your chance. And I kind of feel that this is very blunt communication right here. So I kind of feel like that is your attitude at the moment. I also feel like you are looking at something better. I'm sorry to keep switching, but going this way, I almost feel some of you could be attracting a person who you see as a king of swords. They could be any sign. They don't have to be an air sign or a Capricorn. I'm, not, I'm really not getting any sign. <laughs> you know, it could, like I said, those signs, they come up in the cards, but I literally feel it could be any sign coming in for you. But I feel you see... Um, you see very clearly that this person has growth potential with the Ace of Pentacles coming up in that diagonal. So, you know, it's like, I, I feel like you're not even interested. Uh, next, what are we doing again? Um, oh, what you don't see coming. You have this Peaks of Joy card and you have this Field of Dreams card. So I feel that you are getting closer and closer to dream life. Again, pretty much everyone is um, because we have Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces pretty much forces all of us to be dreamers. You know, it forces all of us to uh, have these big ideas. Whether you accomplish it or not is up to you. You know, people always accuse me of being too positive in these readings. And I'm always like, no, I make it very freaking clear that you have to put the work in, that tarot can't make anything happen for you. It can't lift things up for you. It can't take action for you. It can't bring things into your life. The only thing it can do is point out opportunities that you have to take advantage of. So if you do, great. If not, then you'll, you'll probably leave a comment. I'm going to delete later, right? So what I would say here is that, you know, I feel for a lot of you, you just need to keep dreaming. Uh, with Neptune and Pisces, I would take your dreams, multiply them by a thousand. Uh, are you going to get that thousand X? No, but you might get like a hundred times better or 10 times better than what you originally wanted. So I, I encourage people to like really shoot, you know, shoot for the stars, right? And uh, I also feel you have this Peaks of Joy card, which says, you know, you could be having these moments where you're super happy, um, where things are kind of going up. It is funny that I'm seeing it as like, kind of like a leap forward and a pause, which almost reminds me of like rabbit energy. You know, rabbits, their rabbit medicine is they take these leaps, they stop, they pause, then there's another leap. <laughs> so you might notice that changes or things in your life are kind of happening like in that cadence, right? They might be, you might have be having this leap and, and, and then a pause and then like another leap and a, pa and a pause. And I feel it's in those pause moments where it's like saying, can you just sit in the energy and say, I'm getting one step closer to my dream, right? Uh, you have the Eight of Cups, the King of Swords and the Six of Wands here. Uh, Eight of Cups is walking away from things that no longer serve you. So definitely a really good time to cut out the crap with the Eight of Cups. I, I really do f see you standing up for yourself though. It's, it's more, I get this energy of you not accepting less than you know you deserve. So, and I feel like you're being very honest with yourself about this. Like, trust me, um, I get tons of comments from people that are like, I deserve this, this, and this, but it's like they, they do nothing to deserve it. <laughs> so it's like, I feel like you're at least being honest. Like you're saying, okay, uh, you know, I deserve this, this, and this in life. And I understand I have to do this much work for it. So, you know, like I said, I feel very kind of, you know, honest energy there. Uh, you have the King of Swords, same thing here. He would be, you know, on the positive side of things, he would be very honest. And so I feel you're being honest with yourself. I also, I do feel like you could be attracting a person who is a little bit hard to read at the moment. So if you're interested in someone, it, you might not be sure, like, <laughs> you might not be sure if they are interested or where things are going. I do see that clearing up. Again, I, I just feel this person is like reserved in a good way. I'm pretty sure I said this to you in your last reading. It's like, I feel that you could be attracting a person who just isn't like, you know, bl blah, like just, you know, throwing information at you and being like, I love you, like right away. I feel like this person's like a little bit more slower, you know, in getting into things. But I feel, think this is a good thing. It's not a bad thing, right? And, you know, it's like they take their time. They really get to know a person. They're not just like, oh, let me tell you everything about my life, like, you know, spitting it out, right? So much 
different than uh, what you would maybe be used to. Uh, you have the six of wands here, definitely victory or success coming in for you. I would be careful, like I would totally ignore them, but I would be careful of jealous people. It is popping into my head with the six of wands. Um, again, I think the best thing to do is just ignore it, is to not even talk about it or think about it or anything like that, right? So let's see what is going on for you. With the Eight of Cups, you have this protection card. Something, it's like you are protected. On the Eight of Cups, he's walking into darkness. He doesn't really know where he's going, but he just knows. He, he's basically telling the universe, you know what? The past thing didn't fulfill me. There were things missing. That's fine. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take the good information in my head. I'm going to look for the things that I liked about the situation, but I'm going to cut out the rest. And, you know, it's like, this is saying you are protected. If you're worried about, you know, walking away from a job, a business, um, you know, a relationship that didn't work out. Uh, and if you're fearing like, oh, if, am I going to find something in the future? I feel like this is saying, yes, you are definitely going to find something in the future. With the King of Swords, you have this authority card. You, I do feel you could be attracting an authority type person. You know, the King of Swords is like law and order. You know, definitely could be an authority, <laughs> an authority figure. They could have a job of authority. They could have a business that gives them authority, you know, that type of thing here. Uh, with the uh, Six of Wands, you have this, um, what does it say? Oh, Resistance. You have this Resistance card. Yeah, I think you have to push past Resistance. We are definitely in a time of Resistance. I mean, you know, I was talking about Neptune and Pisces. We have Saturn and Pisces as well. So with Saturn and Pisces, you're really going to have to put in the work to manifest that dream on Earth. You're really going to have to, you know, give it some elbow grease, right? Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this Mangrove card. It says, stay grounded, extend your roots, and gain stability. You have this octopus that says, keep yourself, keep to yourself, be discreet. Yeah, I would definitely, I do think it's a good time to keep your ideas to yourself and, you know, kind of like make those changes in silence. And then, you know, people will see them eventually, <laughs> you know. Um, but I definitely, I, I also kind of feel this is a lesson that you've learned that you can't just uh, tell people things or you, you can't really just tell people your goals right away. So, you know, again, it might be a good time to keep those to yourself. Uh, you have the three of wands here. And again, I, I really felt really good about this at the beginning of the reading. I still feel good about it. I feel you are seeing these opportunities now. Maybe you walked away from something or something came to an end and you're kind of reflecting on some things that you would like to see in your life. You have that field of dreams card, which is things that you've dreamed of. I do feel during retrogrades, maybe we have these moments where we say, you know, I've always wanted to have the experience of going to Spain. I've always had the desire to, um, you know, eat this food or, you know, do this thing. And it might sound ridiculous, but again, we are here to have experiences. So I think it's part of life. I think people get too caught up in like thinking they have to, um, you know, have a career and do this other stuff when really we're here to have experiences. We are here to create our own reality. Maybe having a career is part of that because, you know, obviously we live in the 3D. We have to have money to be able to do those things. But again, is it, should we be putting that first? I don't know, right? So what I would say here is I feel you're thinking about those things and saying like, oh, you know, I, I don't want to die without having these experiences. So I better get going. You have the Ace of Swords here. Ace of Swords is a victory. I do feel like there is a victory or success coming in for you with the Ace of Swords. Uh, I also kind of feel this is your focus. Like I said, sometimes I feel the Ace of Swords can be laser-like focus, being very, very, you know, pinpoint accurate focused on something that you desire to have in your life. Could be a victory, could be some sort of success, could be becoming famous with publicity and the star card here, right? Whatever it is. It's like the more you make it a focus and the more you work towards it, the more successful you will be. Uh, you have the Ace of Pentacles here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles is a card of success. Ace of Pentacles is also a card of growth. Um, you know, it's kind of like a seed and it, you know, it represents a garden. There's a garden right here. And obviously, if you plant a bunch of seeds, you have to water them, fertilize them, take, give them sun, you know, all those things. So I always say, you know, with all this energy in Taurus as well, like we are in a time where we, I believe the simplest way to be ridiculously successful right now is to nurture something into existence, is to, um, you know, is to like really create something that you take care of for a long period of time. Could be anything. <laughs> it could be your health. It could be a relationship. And if you look at it that way, like, oh, I have to give it, a, you know, whatever this opportunity is, a certain amount of things so that it can grow, then you will be very, very successful. So there you go. Um, this bluff card wanting to pop out here. I literally didn't want to go back into the deck. So the bluff card, I feel you could be calling someone's bluff. Like someone could maybe not be believing that you're not accepting them. But I feel, again, too bad, so sad. I feel like you're over it. <laughs> uh, with the three of wands, you have this extremism card here. Um, again, this is showing up in the good stuff. So again, I feel like some of you could be getting a lot of attention for your information. 
you know, so if you share information, like in work or business, uh, there's something about that. You know, if you share information, I feel there's a lot of success for you. And if you have a YouTube channel or something, or like a podcast or whatever, you know, I see a lot of success there as well. Uh, with the uh, Ace of Swords, you have this domination card. I feel like you are dominating. <laughs> uh, again, there's like some sort of like golden opportunity. I, I think I said that at the beginning of the reading. It's like there's something that looks like gold to me. And I, and again, I'm not trying to make this dramatic. You do have gold here. You have the star card, gold star. You have the uh, Ace of Pentacles, gold and a star, by the way. Uh, so I feel for a lot of you, it's like there's this opportunity. It's a little bit different than what you've been doing. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of like there's some sort of difference because that Queen of Swords, it's like she sees something clearly, the King of Swords facing forward. It, there's something here about not seeing it yet, just yet. It's like, um, so, you know, what the hell am I talking about, right? Well, it's like you might be interested in a person and maybe you just don't see the full potential until you actually date them, right? Uh, could be a business where you think about a business idea or a change you want to make in your business. But again, you won't see the full potential until you put the work in. So I, I feel like this is saying it's worth it to put the work in. With the Ace of Pentacles, you have this indecision card. Yes, I feel that, again, it's showing up in the good stuff. So if you've been indecisive, you have this angel over here, and I feel like you are being guided towards you know an opportunity or something that is gonna work out really, really well for you. Uh, I love where this reading is going for sure, but uh, we're going to see what else is coming up for you. We'll take both of them. Uh, you have this Nine of Swords here. I do feel like you're ending a cycle with a person. So, you know, if you've had a repeat cycle with a person, you're ending it. I also, I also have the word family popping into my head as well. So if you have like a toxic family member or something, I feel like you're bringing that to an end. Uh, you have this sacrifice card. Uh, I, with the judgment card here and the ace of swords, I feel you've already made a sacrifice. The ace of swords represents a sacrifice because there's a palm frond you know, on one side of the sword and it, you know, the ace of swords cuts both ways. So you have the eight of cups. It's like you're walking away from something, but I feel like this is a sacrifice that is bringing in an opportunity. It's like you're walking away from something that just, you're walking away from something that just never changes. You have that convention card here. I feel like if whatever you're walking away from, you're like reflecting on it and you're saying it never changes. It's never different. It's always the same. Uh, you have this falling angel card. It says spiritual narcolepsy. Uh, some of you maybe need to spend more time like meditating, being spiritual, all that other good stuff. Uh, you have the seven of swords. The seven of swords, of course, can be lying, cheating, stealing, but really it's a card of tactics. It's a card of doing things in your life differently. Uh, so make sure to stay open. Uh, you have this eagle card. And these two want to come out together. And you have this horseman card. It says herald of change. You can't see the change coming. You know, the spiritual kind of the total meaning of the eagle is that the eagle can fly very high. It can see very, very far, you know, uh, uh, kind of like over the earth, right? But it can't see around the earth. Like the, um, I even think in Animal Speaks by Ted Andrews, he says that, you know, it's kind of like a card of not being able, or, you know, the eagle sim uh, symbolism is like, you can see very far into the future. You're seeing clearly, clearly, you have the queen of swords here, but it's like, you also don't know what's right around the corner, right? So I feel like this is kind of encouraging. I feel it's encouraging you to keep moving forward. It's like saying the change is right around the corner, but you have to keep moving forward. You can't just stay where you are, right? Um, so. I like this reading a lot. <laughs> uh, of course, I've been liking your readings a lot lately. They, I think they are very good. But uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.